Hello everyone, and um, today I'm going to do my usual um, office or work makeup. So for now, I've already prepped my skin with my usual skincare, and I've applied the um, Round Lab Doc Do um, Sun Cream SPF 50 plus. And then now I'm just going to prep my lips with the Laneige Lips Sleeping Mask. This is very well loved and I've already hit the bottom. So this is just to soften and moisten my lips in preparation for my lipstick. So after that sun cream has already settled in my skin, I'm, the, I'm now going to use the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation in the shade number 9. So this dispenses a small amount of product compared to other makeup. So just one pump. Oops. That one. I'm just going to put it on the center of my face first um, and then I'm just going to blend it out and my I usually just use my hands my fingers I mean to to spread out the product because I believe it's the warmth of my fingers that actually help make the product absorb better into the skin and then if i need more coverage i'll just add more but most of the time my aesthetic is just um like a no makeup or barely their makeup because I like people to still recognize me with makeup and without makeup so that's a pretty good shade for me so you can still see the texture the hyperpigmentation the blemishes and I'm not really bothered by that because you know I lived my life. I've been a teenager. I've had pregnancies. I've um, had my time under the sun. And that's what all of these imperfections are. They are marks of life. So next, after that, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to, um, I'll be using the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil in brunette so this is a really good dupe for the benefit um what's this called benefit precisely my brow pencil this is a good dupe and it's like far far cheaper and more available to me because we don't have a Sephora where I live at, but we have a price line. So I go for the arched brow because I feel like this is the shape that suits my face more. back when i was in university when i was like 17 and i would have my eyebrows shaped at the salon like shaved and then when i finish my classmates would 
tease me and say Kilai 2000 that was when I think I was in university in 2003 and I guess at that time it was very fashionable to go to have that really thin arched brow look so they would use oh Christine Kilai 2000 but now I guess it's all coming back, but I'm not going to go <laughs> that route again because I favor fuller brows, but with shape. I think my eyebrow game yesterday was much better than today, but let's do some damage control. All right, so that's that for eyebrows. Oh no, wait, I still have one more thing up my sleeve. I've got the Rose Ink Eyebrow Gel in Fill 01. So this is just a clear, clear color. And that's just to shape the brows because as you can see, I've got some brow hairs that are longer so just to keep them within that drawing okay next would be i'd go for my eyeshadows i'm not using any lashes today because it's just my day makeup and nothing you know like it's not a special occasion that I need to glam up for, but I just want to look, um, you know, professional. I'm not going to go to work looking pale and like I just woke up. I want to present a good face. Mm. So I'm using the Hindash palette and I've just used um, this bit in here. So next I'm going to use the middle again just to do some contouring around my nose. Add a little bit more here. And then I'm going to go for the blush and the face contour. So I'll do my contouring first. Just adding some jawline because my panga days are over behind me. I don't think I'm going to get my panga back again. Maybe some as well in here just to bronze up my face a little bit. Then I'm going to use a combination of this and this for my blush. So I'm just going to put it up here, up on the cheek bone here and under the eyes to like elevate my cheekbones I, I'm not going to use you know like how I used to do my makeup before I'd smile and then put it on the apples of my cheek because when I'm not smiling it just falls down here so I'll look like you know my face is sagging if I put the blush there and maybe a little bit around my on top of my nose to have that sun kissed look
and then after that I'm going to do hmm, I'm not going to put any mascara and I don't think I'm going to use any eyeliner so I guess I'll have to go and work on the lips now I'll be using my favorite shade which is um, the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Blush. So, the way I use it, I'm just going to wipe that um, Laneige mask off. So, as you can see, my lips are smoother and softer. I'm just going to tap it. So you can compare it to like my lips but better. This top has none. This bottom has that lipstick. So I'm just gonna tap again the upper lip. And that's it. That's my work makeup. Now I'm just going to wait for it, for everything to set. That's it. Thanks for watching.